So in this video, we're going to be looking at Particle X. Now, it's not just a whole bunch of presets, but some other jazz that we can do some stuff with. So here we're in the default map, select all, delete, vertices, get out in the render engine, ambient occlusion, bloom. I am going to set the world to black just to make our life a little bit easier. I will start off with adding a UV sphere. Let's press N to bring up the side panel. Let's just go straight into rendered view and we're just going to hide everything. Make sure we've got our sphere selected. Let's come into particles. Mm, I want to do a custom one. So let's go add particles and let's just press play. And you can see that we've now created a particle system. What do you do? It's added materials and so on and so forth. I might just dial down the material a little bit. No, I won't. Let's dial it back up because it looked better at 200. Super bright. Now what we can do from here is go ahead and add some force. I'm going to add in a twist. And so straight off the bat, we've now got this effect, cool beans. Let's give it some turbulence. So depending on where you add the force is where it kind of like kicks off. So if we go, oh, control Z undid all that. So let's just do that again. And I mean, obviously in this view, we're not going to see much turbulence. There is a little bit. Actually, there's plenty of turbulence. Nice. And so now we've got this pretty cool effect. I actually really like that turbulence. Let's go maybe into a twist while we're at it as well. Let's click add force. All right, so there we go. And then probably at the end here is where that force is gonna start of the twist. There it is. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's go back to the start. Frame zero, turbulence deleted, X force deleted, select our sphere. Let's come into add force, add twist, and then add turbulence, add force. From here, we're gonna press play. And you kind of see how it's not really working properly, but what we can do is just clear everything. And let's come back to into the start. I'm gonna throw that particle system back on. And now we've got that turbulence and spinning, and we've got that gorgeousness happening. Now, obviously we can randomize the size of our objects, of our uh, particles, come down into here, lifetime, and we can change our velocity as well. So if we go into five, they're gonna shoot out a lot further. Oh, 50, that's kind of cool. But you have to remember we're doing this through Eevee and we're doing it kind of live as well. So obviously lifetime, we can bump that up to 300. And then that means all the particles will live. Nice. Um, I believe we can come down into here now and we can add a layer. Another super cool feature that I do like about this one is we've got the force. Let's go into circle guide and I'm just gonna clear everything. Uh, oops, sorry, let's press pause. Add particles, circle guide, add force. Let's go back to the start. And so now we've kind of got this guided um, particle emitter that will go to the object. I reckon that looks less sick. So if we kind of go into edit mode, uh, what we can do is we can expand on that and then we can even set some keyframes. So if I go, I set rotation and then from here, I'm gonna go rotate Y 180, rotate X 360. Let's press I to set the rotation. And then I'm gonna come down to the timeline, press T and we'll go linear. And so now when we go into this view, what are we gonna see? That's, that's pretty suave. Let's do another one, only go into a sphere. Let's go, actually, let's go into a cube. Um, from here, I rotation, let's go to the end. Ah, uh -uh, I rotation, and we'll make sure that's linear. Let's come to the start. And so we kind of have this, cool beans. That's all right, that's all right. Let's press N, let's bring up our world material, come over into particles, add particle system. And then obviously if we press play, you can see that it kind of bounces. Source, I want off the volume. Um, push, add force. Okay, so that's what push does. It'll kind of suck up to there. So maybe we don't want that. Maybe we just want gravity turned off. 
velocity at 15. Nah, that's too much. Let's go three, lifetime at 250. And it's coming off the volume. Let's go faces. What does a face look like? Hmm. I would have hoped that volume would have been a little bit better, but that's all part of the blender settings that we can muck around. Let's go randomize the size. Da da da. We can change that with the cube. We should be able to go into particle settings, source. Velocity, randomize. That's a little bit too much. Let's just give it a bit of a randomization. And then we'll go into rendered view. Oh my goodness. Come into here, bloom, ambient occlusion. That's pretty cool. But this is kind of like the main thing about Particle X is just kind of like get you going into using particle simulations. Um, I think for this, I'd probably be doing kind of like motion graphics a lot with this stuff, but you kind of find your way, especially with a pretty big library of presets that comes with X Particle. Oh, that looks pretty cool. And I like how it turns off. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>